What's going on everybody? So today um, we're going to replace some of the rear speakers in my uh, 2009 Chevy Colorado. These are just some Rockford replacements I got. They're 20, 30 bucks more than with the cheaper stuff. I actually get a decent speaker. I've had quite a few Rockfords, been super happy with them. Uh, like I said these are just door speakers, so I think they're like five and a quarter or something like that. I get them off Crutchfield. I've been buying off Crutchfield for 15, 20 years, something like that. It's a good deal in my opinion. They come with the insulation cables, the hardware, the brackets, like everything you need it comes with. Some little door speakers. Hopefully you get a little bit of sound out of them. What I have right now is blown, they muffle like crazy, so it'll be better than what I got. So at the end of the project, I went and gathered up all the tools that I used and set them out. We're just going to start this pro start this video showing everything that I used. About the most complicated thing there is a soldering iron, which you don't have to have. You can just do regular connectors. Um, other than that, just some zip ties, handheld tools, screwdrivers, drill. So in order to get the panel off, there's a couple screws you got to take out, and then just use a plastic pry bar to take out the window controls. The Entire panel just pops off. Make sure you take the wire connectors loose without breaking them. So I started trying to get the speaker connector loose. It ended up being easier just to take the screw loose, get it loose from the panel and give me more room. After that, I laid out the new speaker, set out where I wanted to center punch some holes for the actual mounting. So I ordered these speakers from Crutchfield. They came with some adapters, just basically spacers to get the speaker out away from the door. They had some little ears on them that I was going to use, so I just used my bandsaw and cut those off. Now it's time to actually solder on the wires to the speaker. There's a quick connect to the factory wiring, but I want to have these actually soldered to the speakers. It's a pretty simple project. Don't be afraid or intimidated to try and solder. Next we're just running the screws for the actual mounting of the speaker. Once you did that, put some dielectric grease inside the quick connect and then use a zip tie to mount that up solid so it doesn't rattle around. 
I go ahead and go through and uh, check all the 10 millimeters for the door handles, for the window regulators, all that kind of stuff. Just over the years, it's going to rattle loose, and this will really help. You're not really planning on taking that back apart anytime soon. So to get the panel back on, just reverse of so taking it off, uh, line up the top, get your plastic clips back in, and then put your screws. One thing I didn't show on camera is that I checked the window going up and down, making sure it wasn't going to hit the speaker or anything like that before I put the panel back on. <laughs> 